Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I'll be talking about another topic associated with the dynamic apex. So this time around describing tabs using schema methods. So if you wanted to say get the metadata information about the apps and tabs, right? You can pretty much use the, uh, the describe tab schema method, which is exactly what I'm gonna do demonstrate uh, using a code. It's a pretty simple and very short lecture so but it's still important from your exam point of view um even if you're not taking platform developer too it's good to know uh from a development standpoint of view right so what i'll do i just go to the the developer console i mean i'm not using visual studio code i understand that but later stage we can get into the visual studio code usage right i mean it doesn't matter to be honest i mean you can still develop a lot of stuff using Dev Console, right? Unless you are not building for LWC, right? Um, so let's go to Developer Console here. Um, and uh, so just don't worry about it, for instance, right? Okay, so go to uh, Anonymous Window. Not interested in that. So what I'll do, I'll just gonna get the uh, the list of uh, the tabs and the details. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna do list of uh, schema right and there is something called describe tab you see there are a lot of options in describe right you see you got describe color results it's got data category you know s object result the tab right so we are after uh describe um the tab result right so you can say tab result yeah you can say schema um dot describe okay you know what I'll, I'll just maximize this um describe um tabs yeah so this is pretty cool um if you've noticed that i've changed the interface you know the, the color of the develop console from black to white right i mean a user pointed to me that saying, "Can you change the, you know, the appearances, you know, font and and look and feel because it's very hard to read." Yep. Yeah. So no worries, I can do that. You know, that's the reason why I'm I'm using this as a white interface. But when I do development, I normally go for a black interface. It's it's easy on my eyes, right? Because I wear glasses, so that's one of the reasons. But that's all good. Okay. So for what I'm gonna do, we're gonna loop through it, right? So I will do. Because obviously it's a list, right? So to to understand what we have inside the tab result, right? Uh, we need to loop through it, right? To get the detailed description of the the fields what we have. Okay, so what we'll do? We're just gonna say describe um, tab result. Oh yeah, I just gonna do this one copy. You know, I love Salesforce, right? Salesforce is one of the language, uh, sorry, not language, right? I mean, Salesforce Apex programming language, that's what I meant, right? I, I love Apex, right? And it's pretty amazing, um, given the fact that, you know, I worked so many years um, on, a, on a .NET platform, right? Uh, compared to .NET platform, Salesforce uh, Apex, you know, or a development environment is pretty lightweight, right? Because uh, you know, if you're on a .NET platform, you know, you got .NET, you still have .NET Framework. I mean, I think they still do. Now it's all about .NET Core and the libraries is huge. You can do a lot of stuff, right? Um, so, yeah, let's not get into it. So that's all cool. So what I'll do, I'm just going to go to system.debug and what I'll want, I will say d.get and there's something called get label. Um, so... And so we're gonna go get label. So M, and also we have something called system dot debug. I'm just gonna say de dot um, say get namespace. So this is one of the thing. If you wanted to know the namespace of it, uh, and there is one more. Um, it's something called e selected. Um, say de is selected so that's pretty much it for now okay we got an error which is fine illegal assignment from the list 
of schema dot result to list. Oh yeah. That's right, because this is what it should be, right? Now we do this. Okay, now meta do not exist, get namespace. Okay. Again, I think uh, I, or maybe not, get name. Okay, what I'll do, I just, I think they used to be get. I vaguely remember. Yeah, so we're gonna do get name space. Um, hopefully there's one. Oh, all right. Okay, I'll just close this off for now. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Make no sense. Okay, <clears throat> so let's say I wanted to get the label. Um, yeah, that's right. You know why? Um, that's because I changed here, um, but I didn't change it here. Right, that's why. Right, so this is one of the reason why, because I've changed at the top, right? I, I, I put it as describe tab result before. Now it's actually describe tab set results, right? Let's look at the values, right? Right, you got sales, right? The sales tab, standard, service, standard, marketing, you know, all the, so the apps you have, right? App launcher. So sales for chatter, you got the sales for chatter, standard, you know, the get name space. So this is the standard ones, right? And uh, and you got external orders, which got pretty much no tab, right? Apex UML, which got pretty much no tab. Uh, Non-profit service pack, which I've installed it. Um, it's got a um, namespace of NSP. So this is like, um, if you wanted to get like, so now you must be wondering, why do I need to know this, right? The reason why you need to know uh, in general, even if you're not appearing for Platform Developer 2, if you might encounter a scenario where you might want to get the tabs information, right, and the runtime, right? So the best way to do that, you can use the describe uh, schema method, describe tab schema method to uh, access those information. It's a capability what Apex offers, so it's good to know, you know, um, the capability. So that's one of the uh, the reason why, and you know, I'm just teaching you guys about this one. Um, so, you know, and the next episode we're going to look at some of the dynamic SQL queries. Um, you know, how to write um, dynamic SQL queries, or perhaps dynamic social queries as well. Right. So, which will be useful from your exam point of view. Or, Right. Okay, cool. That's pretty much what I wanted to talk about in today's episode. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care. Adios.